Bitcoin hit a new all-time high of $73,000 last month. Meme coins are going crazy, hitting multi-billion dollar valuations, making some people millionaires pretty much overnight. Crypto bros are going crazy, buying Lambos and celebrating. What is this all about? Is this a bubble? Is that all gonna collapse? Are we still early? Should you profit from that? Today we're gonna explain what is going on in the crypto market and what is our strategies to make the most out of that craziness that's going on in the market. Stay till the end and we'll even reveal our secret tips on how to make money in this market. All right guys, welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna talk about Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So guys, we know you're a smart audience. We're not gonna talk you through the entire history of Bitcoin. But just for a short overview, Bitcoin moves in four year cycles. The halving for Bitcoin is expected in April this year. The previous halving was four years ago. And as you can see on the chart, approaching the previous halving, the price of Bitcoin was about $9,000 and it's 6x all the way up to $64,000. And if you look at the previous cycle in 2016, the price of Bitcoin was about 650 approaching the halving and the year following halving, it went all the way up till $2,500. So this is an asset that really moves in four year cycles and it's linked to the fact that there's a halving every four years. Bitcoin is a deflationary asset. The number of Bitcoin will remain 21 million. So if you think about the reasons why the price goes up, on the one hand, the supply remains the same, but increasingly more and more investors are coming to the market. The demand is going up, hence why the price goes up. And this year, there has been a positive demand shock to the entire crypto industry. Just two or three months ago, the first Bitcoin ETFs hit the market. BlackRock and other major financial players finally started to offer Bitcoin ETF. Why is this such a big deal? Well, for the past 10 years, buying crypto was difficult. If you wanted to buy crypto, you need to open an account with an exchange. Then you would need to put your fiat money into the exchange. Then you would need to exchange that fiat money into something like USDT, a stable coin. And then you would need to swap the USDT into Bitcoin. Then everybody tells you, oh, you can't leave your Bitcoin on an exchange. Why it's not safe? Big exchanges like FTX, like Mt. Gox and many others went bust or defrauded people's money, which meant that people lost all their money, which was in exchanges. So after you buy your Bitcoin on an exchange, which isn't even saved, you need to buy a hardware wallet and then transfer your Bitcoin onto that hardware wallet. And guess what? If you make any mistake in any of these transactions, it could be that all your money is gone, meaning that buying Bitcoin was difficult. It was a hassle. And many people chose just not to buy any crypto because they didn't know how or they just couldn't be bothered. It was too complicated. Now with the crypto ETFs, it is so easy. All you do is you give BlackRock your money and BlackRock handles everything for you for a really cheap fee of around 20 basis points or 0.2%. This means that now there's many more people who can buy cryptocurrencies, including big institutional investors who so far have largely not played in the cryptocurrency space. So guys, the next thing we talk about is other cryptocurrencies and how money flows from Bitcoin to other cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and then to Cardano, Algorand, all the way up till mean coins. If you look at the price of Bitcoin this year, it's gone up by 50% already. And if you look at it from a 12 month perspective, it's already 3x. Will it really double from here on? Maybe, maybe not, but that's a big question mark. And typically what investors do in this kind of a situation is that money starts flowing from Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies. In this case, the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap is Ethereum. So money starts flowing from Bitcoin into Ethereum and then from Ethereum into Algorand and to Cardano, eventually moving into meme coins. If you look at the price of Ethereum in the previous cycle, it went from 200 all the way up to 4,000. And then if you look at the price of a meme coin like Dogecoin, it went from one cent all the way up to 73 cents. What you can learn from this is that typically if you want a higher risk, higher return, then the idea could be to move your money from Bitcoin into other cryptocurrencies if you want to follow the money as other investors will. People and investors think that there are juicy returns to be made in altcoins because typically if you look at the previous cycle, altcoin prices 10x, 20x. And this is where funds start flowing from Bitcoin into other altcoins like Cardano, Algorand and all the way up to mean coins. So what are those altcoins and how do you pick the right one? The interesting thing in the crypto market is that prices don't necessarily move based on fundamentals or based on how good a project performs. Altcoin prices very often move based on narrative. So what are those narratives? If we think back, you know, the previous 
one or two cycles. The big narrative in 2021 was decentralized finance. The narrative after was uh, NFTs, where people would buy just some really simple digital paintings for thousands and even tens or hundreds of thousands because there was an NFT craze going on. We had the gaming coins where people went crazy about the play to earn kind of crypto tokens. Then meme coins were created and surged in price. Dogecoin, book of memes, many other ones. And then today, what is the narrative today? The narrative is all about AI, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, tools like ChatGPT are currently changing our lives fundamentally. Companies like Google, Microsoft, OpenAI are introducing really exciting new tools like Sora AI, which can create videos, which people love and which the stock market loves. And this narrative has spilled over into the crypto market. If you look at artificial intelligence coins, many of which have products, as many of which are just talking about creating products like Fetch AI, like Ocean Protocol and many others, these coins have 2x, 5x, 10x, some of which even 100x over the past year. And that is all because of the artificial intelligence narrative. We believe that if you get the narrative right in the crypto space, there's a lot to be gained. And the narrative today is artificial intelligence. And we think that narrative is going to stay hot for the time being, because in the non-crypto world, the Googles, the Microsoft, the open AIs, we believe are going to continue releasing those crazy products, those artificial intelligence products over the coming, you know, 12 months, 18 months, and even longer. If you want to go for a moonshot and you believe what is the next big narrative, we think it could be quantum computing. But for the time being, AI stocks and AI cryptos are running hot. Quantum computing might take many years until there's tangible benefits. So maybe leave that for the next cycle. All right, guys. But also remember, this is a highly risky asset class. Most people investing in this asset class do lose money. And this is what history tells us from the previous cycle and the cycle before that in 2016. There is a lot of FOMO in the market at the moment. The retail investors and even institutional investors to some extent are thinking this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. People are pumping in money thinking there's no tomorrow. And there are stories of people becoming overnight millionaires. So be careful out there. The other thing to see here is that whenever there's some bad regulatory news or some regulatory concern, the price of these assets just crashes. Social media influencers are telling you to buy this asset or that asset. Be careful because a lot of guys are already invested in these asset classes and they're trying to talk their own book. All this to say that this is an opportunity where you can make a lot of money, but you have to do your own research and you have to be careful. There are also stories of people coming up with novel ideas and then going into asking investors to raise money through an initial coin offering. When then you find out sometime later that it was a fraud and there's a rock pull. So you have to be careful in the market. So here is what we are doing when it comes to cryptocurrency. We are bullish on Bitcoin. We believe the institutional demand via the ETFs is going to continue to push the price up through this halving. Yes, there's going to be a lot of volatility, but we believe if you take a medium term view, the price is going to go up. We also believe there are some really juicy altcoins which we're looking at. There's especially one which follows the AI narrative, which is called MetalX, really a hidden gem. Do check it out and let us know if you want us to make a video about that coin. With that, guys, thank you very much for joining us this week. If you like the video, like, comment below what your experience has been in the crypto market. And we'll see you again in another video next week.